Tonight, the hunt is on for the secret millionaire. Oliver could have a castle because he's from England and he has an accent. The beauties make a splash. Oh! That's gonna hurt. In a sticky spelling bee. My first letter is R, which is a continent. And the geeks get behind the camera for a surprising photo shoot. I'm looking for the geeks to really direct these women. <sighs> Meanwhile, will Rich crash and burn? My dearest princess, how my heart longs for you. When he reveals his feelings for a beauty. It's the start of a new week. Wakey, wakey day, rise and shine. Wake up. Morning. Morning, Chad. Morning. Oh my god, it's so dark still. Morning, Christy. Morning. Whenever I get up from bed, I don't even groom my hair. I just walk around with bed hair all day. We're not really sure what's in store for us. Everyone's still wondering which geek is the secret millionaire. Maybe it's Oliver. I mean, he's got the accent for yeah. it. Yeah. Comes across like a like he'd be really rich. I reckon it could be that guy with the ponytail. Chard. Chard. That sounds like a very posh name. Chard. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I reckon it's the least, like the person that we least suspect. You know, you run a really successful website. It could be you. I think it's you. Oh, you You're the mom. <laughs> I have no idea who it could be. Okay. G'day, guys. Hi. We've survived our first week in the mansion. Yes. Is anyone here closer to finding out who the mystery millionaire is? No. <laughs> Oliver could have a castle because he's from England and he has an accent. And I think a lot of them live in castles. I can see the dollar signs in Jason's eyes. He must be hiding all his money in his bushy hair. Rich's name is Rich, so duh. <laughs> so, down to this week's challenges. Geeks, this week you're about to get thrown into the world of fashion photography. <laughs> Oh, no. Aerodynamics and fashion have one major thing in common, and that's wind tunnels. So the more wind you can get in your hair, the better you look. So you'd better start learning how to strike a pose. <laughs> so I don't really know how to strike a pose, but apparently I do have the hair for modelling. And beauties, I bet you're never lost for words when it comes to talking about fashion, shoes, celebrities. But how easily will the words flow when you're tested on the English language this week? I don't think that'd flow very well. Because <laughs> I don't understand English at all, so... I know how to speak English and that's about it. <laughs> so, get studying and I'll see you all soon at the first challenge. Bye. There are a few rules, but then some words defeat the rules. There's the rules to English. Yeah. yeah. I'm good with punctuation. So the English language challenge, I thought it would be good to set up a little spelling bee in the kitchen. These are your buzzers, and we're going to do a little spelling test with you with objects in the kitchen. Who can spell ceiling? Ceiling. C E L I. N G Silly? That is incorrect, Aileen. Silly. C E L I N G. That is also incorrect. O C R A P. <laughs> so well today what we're gonna do, I've sort of made up a little test for you, just common phrases, so I've written up the first half of it and you're gonna just try to finish it off. Okay. So, Penny, for your... Thought. So behind every successful man is... Money. Not gonna lie, <laughs> every, behind every successful man is money. All we're gonna do is I'm gonna make, like, a proposition and I want you to come up with a couple of points for and against. Okay. Okay. So What's the proposition? Proposition is like, 
I think cats are better than dogs. Cats aren't better than dogs. <laughs> God, I'm good at that. <laughs> so, Jason and I were talking. We um, devised yeah. a special game. Yeah. Essentially, we make a letter with our body. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you think of the longest word that you know that starts with that letter, and then you try and spell it. <laughs> you a rocket ship? Well, what, what letter looks like a triangle? None. In its capital form. This is a really hard game. A. Yes. is a hard one. We weren't coming home with the gold today. So we stride outside into the morning sunlight and see two pools and nine easels. And in the pools were letters, so immediately it looked like spelling, but of what I couldn't say. The beauties walk outside and Honestly, nothing was going through my mind. All cognitive processes just stopped. Welcome to your challenge, which I like to call chicken soup. <laughs> it's a spelling test with a twist. So I hear spelling and my heart just stops. It's like <laughs> The letters of the alphabet can be found in these two pools. In the first pool, filled with sticky, syrupy stock, are the consonants. A continent is A, B, C, D, E, F, or more. <laughs> and the vowels are in amongst the feathers. Oh. I don't get it. Your job is to build words using these letters, but you can only pick one letter out of each pool at a time. The challenge will be over three knockout rounds. The beauty who triumphs in the final round will win this challenge. That means you and your geek will be safe for another week and you'll have the power to nominate another couple to go up for elimination. I really want to win because I just don't want to go home. I've got so much more to learn. <laughs> All right, beauties. For round one, you must make a three-letter word. The first six beauties to do so will advance to round two. The others will be out of this challenge. The hardest three-letter word to spell is not, because it could have a silent case. <laughs> Please disrobe. When the beauties took off their robes, I think they might have denatured all of the geeks' proteins, because they looked very hot. Beauties, on your marks. It's set. Coming up, is the mansion's first romance about to take off? And later... Today's underwear shoot. The geek's fantasies come to life. Oh, my God. Really? Lingerie, Jason. Beauties, on your marks. It's set. The aim of the challenge is to run really fast, grab a letter and a vowel, and then keep on going until you make a three-letter word. It's just like flopped right in. And the stuff was just thick and gooey. And like you couldn't stand up because like you just slide right over. My first letter I chose was R, which is a continent. You can... Three letter word and I'm just thinking cat. And then I couldn't find an A, so I was stuck in the feathers for ages because I kept picking up O. I was like, what am I gonna spell with O? Millie was first, and I was really proud of her. Really close. I can't believe I was the only one still in the feathers. So embarrassing. For round two, we're upping the ante. You must now make a four-letter word. The first four beauties to do so will advance through to the final round. Are you ready? Set. Oh. 
That's gonna hurt. Oh, I jumped into the pool head first. <laughs> okay, it was an accident. <laughs> My plan of attack was to get another E again because I really like the letter E. It's like the colour pink, it just goes with everything. <laughs> Trying to find the letters is hard and I was obviously in house. I was thinking, um, is house a four letter word? Yeah. First, I started off with R E E B, and I was just like, this word looks really familiar. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, beer. So I changed it around and chucked my hand up. All right, beauties. Those feathers sure were flying in that round. The first beauty was Brie, followed by Chantel, Kim, and Courtney. Which means that Christy and Millie, unfortunately, you are out of this challenge. But Millie, I'd like you to describe your four-letter word for us, please. Unfortunately, Bernard, this is not a word. Rags would have been a good word. R-A-G-S. Rags. It could be something in another language. In this round, you need to make a five-letter word. Are you ready? Set. <laughs> Courtney was really chaos in neutral. She was crazy hair, wild girl. <laughs> Bree didn't give up even for a second, and she continued to race as if her life depended on it. So there was four letters up on the easel, and I just needed one more. You dropped it on the floor. You dropped an A on the floor. You dropped an A. All I could think in my head was like, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, beauties, the first to finish was Brie. Could you please spell and describe your word? We got great. G-R-E-A-T. Next week in the mansion is going to be great. <laughs> Brie was unambiguously the winner, and she looked, in a word, triumphant. Congratulations, Brie. This means you and your partner, Oliver, are now safe from elimination this week and will have the power to put another couple in the firing line. Rich has a crush on Greta and I'm pretty sure his hormones were raging today and he really wanted to get them on pen and paper. I was um, thinking about like just hanging out with Greta tonight. So what I was going to do, I was going to like send her a letter to her, like, you know, meet me up here. I think Greta's a really genuine, lovely person. I think that's why I enjoy spending time with her. I'd like to hope that we are, I, well, I'd definitely classify us as reasonably close friends for the house. So like, I got a good intro to this letter. To my dearest Greta, I am writing you this letter. Today you looked so sweet, I hope that we could meet up. Or you could go down the other route and be a gentleman about it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, like, here we go. Greta, my dearest princess, how my heart longs for you. That sounds like she should be expecting things. <laughs> All right, don't do that. Turn it back a bit. I was thinking on doing an express delivery, but generally taking advantage of low speed aerodynamics and just delivering in an efficient fashion. So you mean a paper aeroplane? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Good luck, bro. Cheers, brother. Bro hug. Good luck, Mitch. Cheers. Good luck. Godspeed. I need it. Who do you think will be hot after a makeover? I'm interested to see Chad. What is this? Greta. <laughs> what does it say? It's from Rich. Aww. I'm definitely not jealous of Rich and Greta because he always wears collared shirts and he looks like my dad. Dear Greta, I was wondering if you would like to meet me in my room for a hangout if you want. I think Rich likes Greta, but I'm not sure if Greta likes Rich. When I was waiting for Greta, I was freaking out a little bit. I was a bit like, what about if, you know, she doesn't show up? So I was just kind of there twirling my thumbs a little bit, hoping for the best and, you know, hoping that I wasn't going to crash and burn completely. When 
when I was waiting for Greta, I was freaking out a little bit. I was a bit like, what about if, you know, she doesn't show up? So I was just kind of there twiddling my thumbs a little bit, hoping for the best and, you know, hoping that I wasn't going to crash and burn completely. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Nothing. Thanks for my airmail. No problems. I hope, hope it wasn't lame or anything like that. No, it was impressive. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Did it actually fly when it came in? So it's yeah, kind of, it did. Part was beating a bit, so just tried to like breathe in a few times, like trying not to look down too much or all around the room, just try to like, try to maintain eye contact and do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I'm like actually oh, win, like, floating the right way and not just you know like starting an elbow wall where we just keep nudging each other. I think that's flirting, isn't it? You know, I think you're really cute and cool. And, like funny. <laughs> I like hanging out with you. I like hanging out with you too. Aww, that's nice. <laughs> and you're pretty cute as well. Rich always seems nervous, but I think it's adorable. I um got you something. Just thought you might like it. Oh, that's so cute. After Rich gave me my cute little lollipop, I really wanted to give him a kiss. <laughs> Thank you for my little lollipop. That's so uh, cute. No problems. <laughs> Rich is a real gentleman and he's really friendly. He's definitely the first gig that I would, would consider falling in love with. I never thought that I'd find anyone like Rich. <laughs> yeah, he's got a kiss tonight. The challenge this week is fashion photography. So Millie and I went to the geek room to hopefully teach me how to strike a good pose and win this competition. Sort of working it on the wall. So like... Lean up against the wall, yeah. Maybe a bit up straighter. Cross those legs. Mm, it's very difficult. I only know what girls model. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, that's good. But not too squinty, just in case they look a little bit creepy. He didn't really have much idea. It was very discolouring. Okay, so how about you give me what you think is your best catwalk? <laughs> I have a lot of work to do with him. A lot of work. know about taking photos? I know about photosynthesis. Uh, <laughs> come on, show us how it's done, Alien. Definitely have to work on their confidence and try not to be so cute and giggly and maybe more sexy and manly. Sexy, Look got forward. those sexy eyes. Those eyes, dang, those blue eyes. Blue steel, blue steel, remember your blue Shoulders steel face? Back. Sexy, that's it, that's perfect. Let's give it another Head shot. Side. I would describe myself as being sexy to E to the I times pi plus one. It equals zero, by the way. <laughs> we arrive at the fashion studio today and I feel like kind of Jack O'Neill going through the Stargate for the first time, completely out of place. Geeks, for your challenge today, you'll be judged on how well you can handle the lights, camera and glamour of a fashion photo shoot. But it won't be you striking the poses. Because your job today is behind the lens taking photos of your beauties in today's underwear shoot. Oh my god, really? Lingerie, Jason, lingerie, are you kidding? Now, geeks, not only will you be photographing your beauties, you'll be selecting her lingerie and deciding on her hair and makeup look. I'm, all I know about lingerie uh, is that it involves socks and jocks, sometimes bras if you're a female. <laughs> Judging your photos today. The glamorous Bryn Edelston and photographer extraordinaire Toby Burrows. Bryn, what are you looking for today out of our beauties and geeks? 
I'm looking for the geeks to really take charge and direct these women because it all shows in a picture. If they don't feel confident and good, then it's not gonna be a good photo. And Toby? Stay away from the, the norm. Try and push your talent as far as you can and create something amazing. The geek that takes the most stylish, sexy photo of their beauty will win this challenge. I don't even want to touch it. Step one was to pick out lingerie for our beauties for the day. Um, so first of all, we all entered the room. I don't know any of this. No idea, eh? Half these things consist of little or no material. How they have any kind of structural integrity, I have no idea. What is that? Some of it's see-through, some of it's not. All the laundry just seems really unpractical to wear, like for anything, like for sleeping even. What has Rich picked out? I've got two necklaces, three tops. Oh my god, these are see-through. This is tiny. I thought Nathan would have paid attention that I am a bigger, busted girl. This is not going to cover anything. <laughs> Might as well go nude. Feeling good, ready for this? Yep, as ready as I'll ever be. Have you worked out what it is yet? An uh, alien hooker, maybe? <laughs> I was actually going for an underwater theme. Oh, yeah? Close enough. <laughs> Rich has no idea. I'm going to kill him. I thought she looked fantastic. Like, she looked a lot better than I think she's told me she thought she looked. Okay, where do you want me to stand? Uh, I was going to say, if you'd be able to get into the bubble and just, like, face Climb outwards. Into it. Yeah, so you look a bit scared, a bit frightened, just like, ah, oh, I can't get in the bubble, the water pressure down here is too high. I was trapped in a nightmare, not a bubble. I think sometimes he looks a little lost. Uh, like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing in here, but... I think that's what he's going for, though. I mean, what would you do if you were inside a bubble? That's true. I've never seen a girl in laundry before, so I had no idea what to expect. Let's just get rid of the robe altogether. No, let's not. Oh, God, he's going to make me feel sexual or something and lay on this couch. Saw the cushion, I was like, excellent, there's a cushion. I'm going to use that as a prop and hide as much as I can. Strike a, a sultry pose. I think it means sexy. I want to jump in and rescue her. Yeah. <laughs> sultry, like a... Your husband has just come back from the work and late at the office because you're in the 50s. <sighs> I don't think I was the husband at all. I think she was hoping for a, another guy. Now, the look I was going for was the 1940s propaganda poster look. What was propaganda? Uh, like recruitment posters for the war. Was there even a war in the 40s? OK. So you're trying to okay. get people to join the Navy. OK. I loved my outfit, but I couldn't actually wear my outfit because it was so small, so I had to um, put my bra on and then the actual tiny um, bit of material on top. Thanks, Ma. Normally I'm pretty good at math and spatial awareness and volumes and sizes for things, but when it comes to lingerie, obviously I really undershot the mark. Aye, aye, Captain. And there's like, ahoy, me sailor. Coming up. You are not photographic, you're photosynthetic. The photo shoots take a surprising turn. And later... I think Rich and Kim are a very yeah. strong team. Will Brie break hearts at the nomination? Sorry. You look super. In the Geeks Challenge, they had to pick out lingerie for us to wear, style our hair and makeup, and then direct us in a professional photo shoot. Like you're... Like a Superman, you're flying through the sky. So I'm going for a superhero theme today with uh, Chantel doing things like flying through the air or you know, punching a ball or other things that Superman might do. Generally, he's not punching a ball, he's punching robbers, but we couldn't find any. I've seen many things in my time looking under a microscope, but uh, looking through the lens of a camera, I did see a very fine specimen. <laughs> Dane got the outfit right because he knows I love flowers. He is like my little big brother. I'm really happy that he chose floral. He looks like he could be a photographer. Yeah, I think so. You are not photographic, you're photosynthetic. So sort of in kind of this. I wanted to be almost like a Victoria's Secret shoot. So fun and with a lot of energy and a lot of props. Like, like that. 
Nice. The last part was whipped cream. How far can I go with this? I really wanted to put it somewhere, like, sexy. Um, let me think. On the arms? Are you good And he's that? like, put it on your arm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Stunning, wow. <laughs> I love being behind the camera. I take a lot of photos of insects in my spare time, so try to channel in a David Attenborough. They're sort of get down a bit onto the rug. Let's get that into the photo. It's incredible, wow. Show she trusts him to let him yeah. take those photos, yeah, take yeah, that yeah. risk. I was a leopard. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> ah, really raw for it. Geeks. Being put in charge of a fashion photo shoot was a real test of nerve and confidence. But you all held your own. Well done. But as you know, there can only be one winner. Bryn and Toby have come to a decision. It was a close one. But the winner of today's photo shoot challenge is... Dane. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you know your partner so well that you created a whole photo shoot around her, like the flowers and the outfit you picked for her. You guys worked really well together. Thank you. I think from the offset, created a set that worked and directed very well. I think it was a really beautiful shot. Well done. I'm so proud of Dan. He pulled through and he got a good shot. He came out of his shell for sure today. So congratulations, Dane. This means that you and your partner, Aileen, are now safe from elimination and are through to next week. But with this also comes the dubious honour of sending another team into elimination. Head back to the mansion and I'll see you all soon. Hi. Hey, Dane. Hi. Um, What's up? We got to discuss Nominations. To put up for elimination is a toss-up between Greta and Uran, along with Jason and Christy. If we were to nominate Greta and Uran, which I'm not too keen on, it could backfire on us and hurt Rich's feelings as well. And also, I'm very close to Jason. So... It's a hard decision, isn't it? Yeah. If we were going to vote strategically, who do you think would be the biggest threat in the house? I think Rich and Kim are a very yeah. strong team. Matt and Courtney have a better connection together, but I still love them. Like, Courtney's amazing, and I don't want to see either of them go. It's not a question of making the right choice, but the least wrong one. Last week's nomination, which was a total shock to me, I think anyone can be nominated, so I'm feeling worried. I think that some of the beauties are a bit jealous that I'm close with Rich, and but I hope that's not the case because I really don't want Rich or I to be up for nomination. As I walked into the nomination room, I had this sense of dread. It really felt like this was it. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bernard. Well, here we are again at the hardest part of the week, the nomination ceremony. Well, Bree, you sent feathers flying in this week's spelling challenge. Well done. Thank you. And Dane was the star of our fashion photography shootout. But as you know, this now leaves you and your partners with the decision to send one couple each through to elimination. Bree and Oliver. Which couple do you nominate to send to elimination and why? Um, it's really hard because we are all so close. But we feel that the beauty of this couple is very competitive and has the potential to make her geek a great guy. And we feel it could go really far in this competition. Um, so we nominate Courtney and Matt. Courtney, tell us how you're feeling. <laughs> Heartbroken.
All right, now on to Dane and Aylan. Who have you guys decided to send to elimination this evening and why? Um, this decision is, I'm, I'm taking sole responsibility for this decision. Um, Aileen had nothing to do with this. Um, these two have not clicked as well with each other as others. And it, it hurts me to say that I nominate. And um, these two have not clicked as well with each other as others. And it, it hurts me to say that I nominate Christy and Jason. I'm sorry, Jason. Jason, how does that make you feel? It hurts, but the decision had to be made. Dane, we're all grown to be like brothers in this house. And don't feel bad, man. It's all right. Sorry. So, Matt and Courtney, Jason and Christy, you guys will soon face off in the elimination this evening. By the end of tonight, there will be one less couple in the Beauty and the Geek Mansion. So, guys, head back upstairs, pack your things, say your goodbyes, do some last minute study, and I'll see the four of you back here for the elimination. Yeah, do you agree with what they said in the elimination about, about us being not a close couple and things? I think it's completely wrong. Because yeah. I know that we are a strong couple. Yeah. I know that we like hang out, we have our jokes about being Queenslanders and <laughs> might have seen it looked like we had a cold exterior together, but we we're really really close friends. Any kind of fashion questions that I should Um what does DK and Y stand for? Donna Karen New York. Cool. Do you remember what a noun is? A naming word? Yes. What is a proper noun? Proper noun? Yes. I might not be that smart, but I am going to study as hard as I can, and I'm definitely going to fight my hardest for Jason. What's an adjective? Let's get into this. I don't know. Come on, adjective. Adjective is... No. Oh, come on, we can do this. Relax, think. We'll be okay. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> I'm describing what. Yeah, you got it. See? We're okay. We can do this. We can get through this. Devastated for her. I know that she's not ready to leave yet. I know that she's having the time of her life and she's got a lot left to learn. And so I'm not ready to give up for, on her yet. Now that I have to go into the elimination, I'm feeling confident, nervous, and very competitive. I really want to just experience the mansion more and more. Like, I haven't got really like that much confidence with women, so just to have that extra in the house, like that extra boost, even for that short time, might help me in the outside world a bit more. Jason and Christy. Matt and Courtney, welcome to Elimination. Hi, Bernard. The rules here are simple. I'll ask each of you a series of questions. The team that gives me the most correct answers wins. Their place in this competition will be safe. The losing team, however, will be eliminated from the competition and must leave the mansion immediately. Ladies, we'll begin with you. Gentlemen, please take your seats in the viewing room. Good luck. All right, beauties, let's begin. You will each receive two questions on the subject of the English language. Courtney, as you were nominated first, you get to choose the first number. OK. 
Okay, can I please have number two, Bernard? Come on, Courtney. <sighs> Which of the following words is a noun? Gorgeous, catwalk, or posing? A noun. I did this. You know this. You did this. Come on. <sighs> is noun a describing word or a name? Um, <laughs> is it catwalk? That answer is correct. <sighs> well done. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Christy, for your first question, please choose a number. I have number four, thanks, Bernard. How many consonants are there in the alphabet? There are 21. Oh, yes. The correct answer is 21. Well done. Thank you. Yes. yes. So easy. Good work. I know we've covered this so many times. Yeah. Courtney, for your next question, please choose a number. Number one, please, Bernard. Where in the mansion is the most appropriate place to masticate? The bedroom, oh, the no. bathroom, She's not... oh, no. or the dining room? Okay, uh, I haven't heard of that word before, but I'm guessing the dining room because I think the other places could be a little bit worrying. <laughs> the answer is the dining room. Oh, great work, Courtney. Of course, masticate means to chew. So, Christy, for your second question, obviously is number three. Spell the word jewellery. J E W E R L L Y. That answer is incorrect. The correct answer is J-E-W-E-L-L-E-R-Y. -E -L -L -E yeah. Gentlemen, could you please rejoin us in the elimination room? Good luck, man. Good luck. Good work. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. We didn't cover spelling. Work. As you saw in the viewing room, Courtney answered two questions correctly and Christy won. These scores will now carry over to your scores. Ladies, you can take your seats in the viewing room. I will ask each of you two questions on the subject of fashion. Matt, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Can I have two, please, Bernard? Same number as you. Yeah, same number as me. <laughs> what modelling pose was made famous by the film Zoolander? Oh, I'm not too sure of that one. Is that blue steel, Bernard? Matt, it is blue steel. It's fine. You got it right. Well done. <laughs> Go, Matt. So, Jason, as Matt is on three points and you are on one, you need to get this next question correct to stay in this game. Come on, Jason, you can do it. Please choose a number. Can I please have number four, please? So nervous. Jason, this is a picture question. Which famous model is married to this actor? Oh, God. You need to get this next question correct to stay in this game. So nervous. 
Which famous model is married to this actor? Oh, God. That would be Miranda Kerr? Yes. That answer is correct. So, Matt, as you're on three points and Jason on two, you can win the elimination quiz with this question. Please choose a number. Can I have one, please, Bernard? Which of the following is an item of lingerie? A Bobby, a Richie, a Teddy, or a Johnny? I'm unsure of that one too. I'd like to say a Johnny, please, Bernard. You answered a Johnny. That answer is incorrect. The correct answer is a teddy. So, Jason, you still must get this answer correct to stay in the game. Come on, Jason. Whereabouts on a woman's body would you find her bangs? Oh. That would be the fringe. Jason, that answer is correct. Well done. Yes. All right, gentlemen. As the scores are locked on three points apiece, we will now move into a tie-break round. This is a closest two question. Jason, I'll be asking you first. Matt, you second. I feel sick. <laughs> Here is a tiebreak question. How many international editions of Vogue magazine are published around the world? He knows this one. Does he? I think he does, yeah. yeah. I don't think Jason knows this. Can I say 10? Now, Matt, I'll ask you the same question. How many international editions of Vogue magazine are published around the world? Um, can I say four? Jason, you answered ten. Matt, you answered four. The correct answer is... Nineteen. Congratulations, Christy. Ladies, could you please rejoin us in the elimination room? Thank you. <laughs> well done, because you did really well. <laughs> well, what a close elimination quiz. Christy and Jason, you're through to next week. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Matt and Courtney, I'm so sorry to say, your time at the mansion has come to an end. But I trust you'll take some very fond memories home with you. Yeah. Thank sure. you both for being such worthy competitors on a Beauty and the Geek Australia, and I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you so much, Bernard. Matt taught me so much. I've just had the most amazing time. I learned to be confident around women. I learned to be assertive, and I'm not shy anymore. It's incredible. I'm walking away, and I feel like a new man, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> it's all thanks to you.